Right, uh, back in. Yeah, that, that was a bit weird. Uh, it sort of crashed on um, old Tiny Girl's uh, friggin' screen there, which was a bit weird. I uh, don't know what that was. So, I had to just uh, actually kind of replay through because I haven't been saving as I go along. <laughs> um, but having said that, um, one thing I haven't been checking, actually, we could probably look at some of these students who we've now encountered. So, we've got uh, old What's-His-Face here, the hacker, he's 5'1". 106 pounds, 28 inch chest, blood type B, August 9th. He likes online forums, but dislikes bright monitors. He's the ultimate hacker. Cool. Yoshio, the hero, here he is. 6 1. So I think he's probably the tallest character so far. 175 pounds, 34 inch chest, blood type O. Date of birth, April 28th. He likes working out, dislikes cars. Okay. Interesting. I do really like this report card thing that it's got going on. Oh, yeah. The Sleepy Girl, 5'1", 95 pounds, 28 inch, blood type B, October 25th, she likes sock puppets, she dislikes waking up early, of course she does. <coughs> Got my voice. Yuki, this guy, 5'4", the DJ that is, 126 pounds, 29 inch chest, blood type B, March the 1st, likes glow sticks, dislikes sheet music. <laughs> Interesting. Momoka the Baker, she's 5'8". 123 pounds, 34 inch chest, blood type O, July 7th, likes powdered sugar, dislikes taking time off. She's a workaholic, I guess. Um, Barbara, who is obviously the tabletop gamer. 4-4, four, four, so she's probably the shortest character we've encountered so far. 90 pounds, 31 inch chest, blood type A, August 18th, she likes roleplay, dislikes critical failure, of course. Ultimate dungeon master. Uh, Barbara. Oh wait, no, that is Barbara, what am I doing? And then down here we have the um, the twins. 5'7", 117 pounds, 33 inches, blood type A, May 21st. Likes designer clothes, dislikes being compared. Ultimate older twin. And Sachika, the nice one. 5'7", 170 pounds, 33 inches, blood type A, May 21st. Likes sweet food, dislikes spicy food. Ultimate younger twin. She's got the cutesier vibe going on to her. All right. Now that I'm here, let's also um, just take another save in case it crashes again. We'll talk to this person first, and then we'll talk to Short Girl again. Uh, hey there. Oh. So, oh, are you uh, a bit nervous? <laughs> what uh, talent would you be? Um, you've got some interesting kind of badges by the looks of it. There's one you can see sort of under the text box, which is like a pentagram star. And the other one on the lapel is like a eye, an eye of some kind. I'm going to guess ultimate medium or ultimate occultist, something like that. That's that's just my immediate thought. How are you doing? I'm fine, as good as I can be at a time like this. Okay, I think that voice is too similar to um, what's his face, friggin' uh, the hero Yoshio, whatever he was called. Um, ooh, what would be a good voice for you? You sound a bit sort of reticent, a bit kind of... Well, I don't know if it'd be nervous or just cautious, maybe. Hmm. What would be a good voice for that, though? Oh, fuck it, I'll just give you a slight kind of Scottish accent. Okay, I'm fine, as good as I can be at a time like this. Well. Right, well... My name's Harui Miyazaki, I'm the ultimate pageant queen. You're an ultimate too, right? Yes. Oh, hi, yes, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Shin Shizuku. Uh, the ultimate... occultist. Told you. See? That's the thing. Sometimes with these characters, you've got to look at the little details and you'll figure out what they're all about. Okay, an occultist. Very interesting. Ultimate occultist, really? Yes. Yes, I know some people get creeped out and some people think I'm weird. So if you're going to make fun of me, go ahead. Just. Get it over with, I guess. Okay. I feel like probably you've been bullied, have you? Why? Wait, why would we do that? This is strange. Usually it's me who's getting bullied. Because I've been asked if I perform human sacrifices no fewer than three times today. And your friend is already laughing about something. Harui? <laughs> me? That's not it at all. Geekbot here is the ultimate paranormal investigator. This is perfect. Oh. What's perfect? You're both into, like, ghosts and whatever, aren't you? It's like the same talent. Well, not quite. Uh, this is too good. It isn't the same at all. Oh, really? Is there supposed to be a difference here? Ghosts are kind of a total scam, right? Oh, okay, I see. I knew you were here to knock mock me. Harui? Eh, what? Just get back to the point. Ask him what he, what we came here to ask oh, him. right. Alright, so, uh, have you seen anything or anyone suspicious? N no. I've been trying to avoid people, and this is why. Can you just leave me alone now? 
He turned his back and walked away from us. Well, that didn't make a good first impression, did it? Great. Now he thinks I'm a jerk by association. <laughs> what was his problem? We were just investigating. Let's just not worry about it. Okay, right. Shall we try this for character again? In fact, before we do, we'll take another save, just in case it bugs out again. All right. Okay, so you're matchmaker. We know that. My name's Mika Yuji, ultimate matchmaker. Prepare to fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, okay, it freaked out again. All right, we're back in. Okay, I think it might now be working. So there's one of two possible solutions here if you're playing this and you get that bug. I think either what you can do is completely reset the game and start again from new game on the main menu. That might be something that solves it. Or alternatively, if it's not that, I think it's sometimes... If you're like progressing the dialogue by pressing enter on your keyboard, I don't know. Because what I did there was I came back to, I, well, actually, I did both technically. So, what I did was I started the game again from New Game, just got through all the other characters, and then came back to her. And instead of going through the dialogue by pressing enter, I, instead I pressed escape, and that seemed to enable it to go through that kind of character wheel visual. So that seems to have, make, have allowed it to work. So there. there. There is a sort of solution, but again, that's something maybe the dev needs to work on. Just identify what it is that's causing that bug and uh, patch it up. Ultimate matchmaker, huh? I didn't really know that was much of a hobby. Also, I will need to actually speak to the occultist again, because I haven't spoken to him. All right. So of we'll course. use... We'll I use escape. special waiting for them, and it's my job. No, it's my purpose to bring them together. I am wondering what sort of a voice to give you, and I have no idea. <laughs> I can't really do a cutesy voice. Because <laughs> I've already got one who's a bit cutesy, and that's uh, the younger twin. Um, so yeah, from now on, to advance dialogue, we'll press escape, not enter. Because I'm guessing enter sometimes might cause it to bug out. Purpose? Yeah! Man, yeah, there's nothing I love more than happy, uh, love and happy endings. I was born to make dreams and happy endings come true. You know what? I'll give you that voice, because it's so different. This is adorable, but I have to ask you if you know of any clues as to how we all ended up at this school. Well... Well, now I've been busy investigating other things, dollface. What have you been investigating? Everyone else. I've been introducing myself to everyone here and starting on my notes. Notes? Notes on what? We aren't actually attending any classes here, are we? Notes for my potential pairings, my observations on other people that help me figure out who's perfect for them. I don't think that's the important thing right now, but okay. Mika shuffled through her coat pocket and presented us with a glittery hand-decorated notebook. So yeah, this is my shipping journal. All of my potential pairing notes go right here. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Nigeria and all that. Wait. Well, then again, maybe I'm one of those ones who likes to ship uh, Kokiji Oma with Shuichi Saihara. God damn. Jeez, <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, I digress. I digress. Wait, what? We've all been kidnapped. Is now really the time for that? Relax, Reiko. She's probably just trying to scan out the cutest boy here for herself. Yeah, wow, well, that's not it at all. I'm too biased to match myself up with anyone. I only care about other people's relationships. Besides, none of the boys here are that cute anyways, huh? Wow. Just say it right out. <laughs> Awkward. I'm sorry. Yeah, look, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I'll go look for important stuff now. No. <laughs> don't do that to me, game. <laughs> Stop it. It's not Hajime. Alright? Uh, bullying a girl. Not cool, Reiko. Well, whatever. Also, I will need to look at her special student profile now that we got her. Um, no, not Aya. It was uh, Mika. That was it. Yeah, it'll take me a moment to probably remem you know, memorise all, all of the names. 410. So I think you're probably the second shortest person, right? After Barbara. 94 pounds, 20 inch 27 inches even. Uh, blue type B, March 14th. Happy endings, unhappy endings. Like, dislike, respectively. Okay. Interesting. Alright, we'll just get through uh, old What's-His-Face again. Hey oh. there. Yeah, we, we've seen you, uh, yeah. old boy. We don't need to... Uh... Yes. My name is Shin Shizuku. The Shin Shizuku, that was it. Cultist. I kind of forgot. Yeah, I forgot what your name was. We'll sort of skip through you because we've already seen your dialogue. Um, yes. Don't need to really see it again. I should have... I should have... Um, cleared this, actually, before I tried talking to Matchmaker Girl Why? again. It's strange. Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah, get through that. It'll be fine, hopefully. Hopefully this won't cause it to bug out, either. 
Yep, oh, and right. then we have to no. uh, leave him alone because he doesn't want to talk. <laughs> right, there we go. Yeah, let's not, not worry about that. All right, there we go. Okay, right, let's us um, take a look at his profile because we didn't look either at this one. 5'6", 127 pounds, 28 inch chest, blood type A. October 30th, likes seances, dislikes blood though, apparently. Interesting. So you're not going to be drawing any blood pentagrams soon, I guess. Uh, how, how many students have we got so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So presumably four more who we haven't encountered yet. All right, let's get a move on. And also whilst I'm at it, we will save the game. Fa oh, I probably put it over file 7 when I could have done file 6. Uh, let's go this way. Who have we got in here? Two more people. Uh, who's this? <laughs> okay. Are you freaking sleeping as well? What would your talent be? You've got a hoodie on with... There's a symbol on one of your arms. I can't really see what it is, though. Is it like a star or something? Like a shuriken? And you've got sort of braces around your other... Well, belts, rather, around your other arm. What are you, fucking... The ultimate ninja? I don't know. I think he's ignoring us on purpose. Oh, okay. He's uh, not going to say anything, so we have to talk to the other guy. No! I'm not the one being irrational here. Huh, nice uh, cap you got on there, mate. And a little uh, goatee beard. Not gonna lie, as soon as that uh, sprite cropped up, I, d I, d I don't know why, but my first thought was, for some reason, leprechaun. <laughs> I don't know why. So, you know what? I'm gonna give you a fucking Irish accent. No, I'm not the one being irrational here. What do you mean? You mean you put pineapple on your pizza? Oh, that's what you're arguing about, is it? Also, if I had to guess your talent, I mean, that's a jazzy suit that you got on there, mate, but something about the cap makes me think golfer. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's probably not it. I have no idea what on earth you could possibly be. I immediately regretted interrupting this argument. It's not that bad, man. Okay, so do you like pineapple on the pizza? I mean, if that's the case, then I'm with you. I don't mind pineapple on pizza. You know, it's my fucking pizza, I'll put what I want on it, you fucking pizza Nazis. Seriously, why does it matter at Matur? There's three, three T's in that for some reason, if I don't care for pepperoni. Pepperoni's good, it's, it's, it's symmetrical. Hurry, please don't get us involved in this. I agree with Suit Guy, pineapple and pizza don't mix. Oh, Harui, no. I don't want to be your friend no anymore. No one asked you. What? Ooh, ooh, okay, <laughs> that was very uh, forthright. Hey, don't be rude to a lady. Unsurprisingly, this is going just as badly as I thought it would. Who have we got here? I'm sorry, we haven't even introduced ourselves yet. Hideki Takahashi, at your service. But you can call me Ace. Please, take my card. Card. Ace. Are you some kind of gambler? Or good with card games or something? Oh, okay. You're a con artist. That's not what I was expecting at all. Not gonna lie, though. Characteristically, there is usually someone, I don't know, quite often there is someone in Danganronpa games who is perhaps sort of criminal in nature, or connected to crime, or, you know, troublemaking in some respect. So obviously in DR1 you had Mondo as the biker gang leader, then in DR2 it was Fuyuhiko as the Yakuza. Who would it have been in V3, come to think of it? Who was the troublemaker in V3? Was there one? I don't think there was, actually. Okay, maybe it's not kind of characters across the whole series, but there's a precedent for it, I guess. Hideki handed me a business card. It was, I was almost impressed. It looked pretty professional. You're the ultimate con artist? It sounds awfully sleazy when you say it like that, huh? Well... Don't worry about me, man. I promise you, I'm 100% worthy of your trust. Guaranteed. Okay, are you the new Kokichi? Is that what you're going to be? Are you going to be the one who we're never going to be sure whether we can trust you or not? Anyways, this is... Okay, this one was quite forceful. I can introduce myself, thank you. I'm Takiyama. Takiyama? Just Takiyama. Okay, you aren't going to give a surname? Huh? What about your talent? I figured everyone here was an ultimate. Talent. Right. Well, I don't know. It'll come back to me at some point. Ah. I just kinda... 
Can't remember. It's one of those characters, ladies and gentlemen. It's the one who can't remember who they are, or what they are, rather. Okay, so yeah, that's another pretty big staple of Danganronpa as a franchise. There's always one character who can't remember. Whether it was Kyoko in the beginning, Hajime in the second one, Rontaro in the third, in V3, rather. Okay, that's fine. An ultimate question mark. There we are. And his name's just Takayama. He doesn't even have, like, a... I'm presuming, I don't know. Takayama, is that supposed to be your forename, or is that your surname? Your family name? I'm not sure. Well, I'm Reiko Shimura, Ultimate Paranormal Investigator. And I am Harry Miyazaka, Ultimate... Uh, bleh, Patrick Queen. Yeah. My voice is going a bit. Oh, nice to meet you, you fucking bastards. Yep. Damn it. Trust me. You know what? I did find Kokichi quite entertaining in V3, precisely because he was a troll and a troublemaker. And if this guy turns out to be similar, I have a feeling he might be a, I don't know, an interesting character. I don't know. He's happy, trust me. Takayama merely rolled his eyes at this. Seems like these guys have some sort of history with each other. What were we discussing again? <laughs> Let's not get back to that. On that note, I think we'll just continue our investigation elsewhere. Nice meeting you guys. Oh, wait, this is uh, Reiko speaking. Nice meeting you guys, though. Harui hurriedly dragged me away from those guys. <laughs> okay. So, a con artist and a mystery. Alright, let's have a look at them in here. So, um, where are they? Hideki is down here. 5'9", 147 pounds, 34 inch chest, uh, blood type B, February 9th. Likes gambling, of course. Dislikes losing. Okay, so I get the feeling he's probably quite competitive. So if he likes gambling, I don't know. He's probably got, I don't know, is he going to have a very good poker face or something? Is that what it's saying? Takayama, 5'8", 143 pounds, 32 inches, blood type AB. Uh, date of birth, January 24th, likes privacy. Dislikes answering questions. That I'd never have gathered. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's two more there. I think that means there'll only be two more characters from here on out who we have yet to find. Alright, let's have another save while we're at it. Okay, I've just skipped file six apparently, but file eight, there we go. Through here. Hello, hello, we're in the gymnasium. Who are you? Okay, your sprite kind of looks like you're wearing sporty clothes. Hello? So, I'm going to guess straight away you're something sport-related. Having said that, you, I don't know, your, I mean, your design is, doesn't really give me any clues. There is an emblem on your sleeve, but it's a, yeah, you know, I can't really make it out. Hey, how's it going? Well, given the situation, I'm not that sure. Hmm. Maybe I'll give you the Australian accent. Ah, don't worry, I'm pretty confident everything will be alright, you wallaby. There's no point in getting down about it before we even know the details. What brings you over here anyways? We're trying to figure out how exactly we all arrived at this school. Have you seen anything suspicious? And uh, sorry, I haven't been a lovable wallaby. I've been looking. My instinct is usually just to head to the gym and wait for a teacher to explain. <laughs> yes, as is often the case in Trigger Happy Havoc and V3. I was hoping for some headmaster or coach to tell us what's going on. Then I figured I could make a game plan from there. Yeah, the way you talk, there's a lot of sports-related things sprinkled in there. I mean, with nothing but ultimate students, getting out of a tough situation should be totally easy, like tossing shrimp on the barbie. You guys are ultimate students, right? Just going to add a few words of my own, you know, because I can. Yeah, I guess this means that you're an ultimate too. Yep, my name's Naomi Tachibana. Okay. I'm the ultimate cheerleader. Cheerleader, okay. I suppose, yeah. Oh, god dang it. This again. <laughs> right, we're back in. Let's try this again, shall we? This time, press escape. There we go. Got to remember, don't press enter when it's about to go to that because sometimes it causes it to bug out, which is really weird. Nice to meet you. I'm Reiko Shimura, the Ultimate Paranormal Investigator. And I am Harui Miyazaki, the Ultimate Pageant Queen. I've actually heard of you before, Naomi. I've seen your competition performances on TV. You're magnificent. Really? Ah, oh, good day, mates, really? You recognise me? Yes, uh, you know with me, with these visual novels. Whenever I do an Australian accent, I have to do... I've sometimes, with an Australian accent, I have to predicate it with good day, mates, for anyone who's new to my channel. Obviously. Oh... Now I'm the one feeling out of the loop. Not a sports fan, huh? Well, I guess it was obvious. Regardless, Naomi is a world-famous cheer championship winner, known for being strong, loud, and absolutely stunning. I observe things like this for my pageant strategy research, if you were curious. <laughs> you stammered a bit on that one. Is there another reason you've been researching it, Harui? Oh, good day, mate. Stop it. You're making me blush. It's true, though. It takes a lot to be recruited as an ultimate, especially when you're from a different country. Different country? 
Oh yeah, I'm actually from the... Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> G'day mates. Oh yeah, I'm actually from the US. Actually, no, I'm from Australia. I was recruited by an ultimate scout in international competition. That's really cool. You must really be the ultimate cheerleader then, huh? You know it. I can even show you a little bit of a routine right here. As cool as that sounds, I think we have some other things to take care of first. Oh, alright. Sorry, I'm getting off as off track. My bad. What is it that you wanted to talk to me about again? How we got here and who our captor is. G'day, mates. Right, of course. Well, I really have no idea. I don't remember a thing. All I know is only a super bad guy would kidnap a bunch of ultimate students. Well. If you see anything suspicious, please do tell us. A sure thing. G'day, mates. As soon as we figure out who brought us here, I'll fight them. I'll toss them on the barbie and roast them. Uh, how noble. I'm not sure that one person could take down someone capable of kidnapping so many people, but at least Naomi has her heart in the right place. Oh, that one person. For some reason, when I read that, I thought it was referring to someone specific, but no, it means not sure that one person even. Alright, well, at least we've uh, found your deets then. Uh, where are you? You are probably down here. Oh, wait, no. Wait, wh wh there. where am I? There's Takiyama. What was your name again? I've completely forgotten. Naomi, that was it. Good lord. I had a brain fart then. 5'9", 138 pounds, 35 inch chest, blood type AB, April 2nd, likes PE, dislikes negativity. Ultimate cheerleader. Right, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, that means there should just be one more character left after this one. Okay, there's a couple of doors over here. Where do they go? Oh, I can't... That's the entrance to the girls' locker room. Okay, you don't belong in there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure thing. Into the boys, then. Uh, okay. So, are we looking for a dude? Since we're going through here. Where's this? Ah, pool. Okay. So, you're here. What are you? Ahoy. You're definitely a fucking sailor or something, aren't you? Something sailing related. Well, since you're a sailor, you know what? Fucking pirate voice, ladies and gentlemen. Arr, wait, that's stupid. Hold on. What's up? The name's Hayden Shear, Ultimate Sailor. Nice to meet you. Okay, you seem fairly outgoing. An ultimate Sailor. I mean, that was, I think, pretty obvious, wasn't it? Yeah. It. Okay, yes, you did. <laughs> that physically hurt me to watch. I'm just going to say what we're all thinking. That was excruciating to watch. <laughs> Arr, me hearties. That's fair. What brings you here, anyways? We're investigating this school and looking for clues as to how we all ended up here. Have you seen anything suspicious? You know, it's interesting that they've got a sailor here. I, I keep referring to other Dan Robber fan game projects that are in the works, but I, I, be I believe in uh, Project Eden's Garden. There's going to be one who's not a sailor. I think he's supposed to be like a ship's captain. Even though he's incredibly young. <laughs> but, okay. Have you seen anything suspicious? Arr, nothing suspicious, but look at this air pool. This is wide as the Grand Ocean. The Grand Blue Yonder. Pretty cool, right? It's kind of weird for a sailor, isn't it? Arr, what be that? Uh, how does a school pool compare to the ocean or whatever? Arr, I guess they're not really comparable, but the idea of water indoors is cool, right? Last time I saw water indoors was on me ship when it was sinking, after I crashed it into the sandbar. Unless you're on a boat, in which case something is really wrong. Right. Either of you guys want to try it out? Uh, I'll pass. Arr, what about you then, you swab? Do I look like I want to get my clothes wet right now? Arr, I mean, you could just take them off, right? Okay, is this guy going to be a bit <laughs> awkward around girls? Oh dear. Yeah, have you just realised how that sounded? Hold on a second. Arr, wait a moment. That's not what I mean, I swear. Asking me to remove my clothes without even treating me to dinner first? The audacity. Yeah, that's the problem. Arr, wait please, I'm not that kind of guy. I know. Arr, what? <laughs> oh, maybe she's secretly into it. Who knows? <laughs> I'm messing with you. Arr, it'd be a joke. <laughs> I mean, of course it'd be a joke. I knew that. Harui, that was just cruel. Suddenly, the monitor in the corner flickered on. Okay, so that must be all the characters then. Ooh. And it's an echo. Um, oh god, so do I just do my usual Monokuma voice for this one? Except maybe add some nyas or meows onto the end. <laughs> is that what I should do? You know what? Fuck it. We'll do that then. Hello! Is this thing on? Yeah. Everybody please report to the gym, meow! And just do like that very quickly. What the hell was that? Should we go to the gym? Yeah, probably. Oh, are we going straight there? 
Oh yeah, everyone's here now. G'day mates, I knew I was onto something with staying in the gym. Hopefully I can remember all the voices and the names. Why are we here? Do we get to go home now? I don't know. I don't know, but I really want to go like now. I'm not really feeling this place. So what's going on here? We all came here as we were told and look nothing. G'day mates, I'm getting tired of waiting. I need to know what I should feel optimistic about. There's absolutely nothing to be optimistic about. We've been kidnapped. Huh? Oh, we were kidnapped? We were called here by whoever kidnapped us, right? I have a few things to say to them, the bugger. Whoever's responsible for this should show themselves anyway already. Hey, please stop being angry. I'm right here. Okay, you do not sound like freaking Monokuma at all, but... Eh? Where's that coming from? The stage. I honestly don't think any of us expected to see what we saw next. We all fixed our eyes on the stage as it walked in. Nice to meet you. Oh, My God. name is Moneko. I am your director and headmaster. Okay. <laughs> nice little top hat you got going on there. I'm still going to give you the... Uh... Well, actually, I was, I was going to say I was, I was... the Monokuma voice, but having said that, when it was on the main menu screen earlier and we flicked through the options and that other one came up, you're... you don't look like that one that was on the main menu screen. I wonder if there's going to be two of you. Or maybe if your appearance changes or something. I look forward to getting to know you all. Unless one of them is going to be kind of like Usami, who's all nice, and then there's another one who's like Monokuma and is all evil. <laughs> Who knows? A kitty! So cute! Me? This puppy is so cute, I want to make one like that. Arr, this stuffed animal can talk! This is cursed. Oh, hi, it's possessed. It's definitely possessed. <laughs> Not a stuffed animal or a puppet. I'm Moneko. Huh? You look like a toy, though. Sachika. Don't talk to that thing. G'day, mates. This doesn't make any sense. This is the kidnapper. Everyone, calm down. This must be some kind of juvenile prank or something, right? What? I've never seen anything like this. What kind of villain is that? We all panicked at the reveal of our supposed captain and director. At least until an explanation was offered. Allow me to explain. I. Huh? Hmm? Oh! Psych! Okay, so there's two of them. Right. One's evil and one isn't, probably. Good thing I got here in time, before things got too boring. Okay, you've got a bit more of a proper Monokuma vibe about you. Well, it was almost explained. Now I'm just left with infinitely more questions. Uh. Who are you? Yeah, this can't be right now. Yeah, that puppet isn't cute at all. Oh, hi, this is even more cursed than the last one. Hey! Just what is this supposed to be? Oh, yeah, you. Can we go yet? Why would you go when the fun is just getting started, yeah? What are you doing here? Okay, maybe one of them I'll add meows to the end, and the other I'll add nyah to the end, <laughs> just to differentiate them a bit. I am the headmaster, aren't I, nyah? Wait, don't answer that. Let me introduce myself first. Let me introduce myself first. I'm Mono Meow. I mean, the dialogue box doesn't say all of that, but okay. So, Mono... Uh, Moneko and Mono Meow. Mono what now? Mono Meow, your headmaster! Yeah, definitely got that Monokuma vibe going on with his voice. <laughs> Alright, actually, because his name's Mono Meow, maybe I should put the Meow on the end of his lines, and Mono and Moneko can say Nya. Hmm. Nobody cares about your stupid name, just tell us why we're here. Yeah, just tell us the ransom so I can cover up the cash and hit the road. Hold on a second. Arr, hold on a second first. If you're the headmaster, then who's that other guy? Oh, don't worry. I'm taking care of that right now. Meow. Extreme mono makeover. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was loud. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> just tore it apart. Well, the hat's gone. Huh? A cat isn't that cute anymore. See, now that's definitely a lot more to my liking. What did you do, Nya? I don't even know who you are. You're a fake. Fake? Why, I... You know what, Monica? Words hurt. Meow. I can't believe how attacked I'm feeling right now, meow. Oh, I'm sorry, Nya. I didn't hurt your feelings, did I? Wait, I don't care that I hurt your feelings. You are being mean to me. I do not particularly care for you. Oh, now you've done it. That's it, meow. I was gonna let you stick around for the sake of these kids, but you forced my paw. Seven Circle Death Punch, go! So this is a, another Monokuma and Monomi type situation, basically, isn't it? 
They even got the uh, sort of little graphic there, <laughs> just like how uh, in DR2 you always see Monokuma beating the shit out of Monomi. <laughs> oh god, that was in my left ear. Oh, he just got rid of that other guy! With one punch! Meow, yeah, he just killed Monaco! Now the problem is solved, let me begin, meow! Right. So, this was a complete waste of everyone's time. I've completely forgotten what voice I actually gave you, not gonna lie. Any particular reason you've gathered us here? Uh, I've completely forgotten your voice as well. Oh shit. <laughs> this, is, this is the problem. With every Danganronpa game, it always takes me a moment to sort of get a feel for everyone's voices that I'm giving them. I can only assume he's here to do as a two, right? Bro, what the hell? Um, what was your voice? What voice did I give you? I can't even remember. I'm being serious. It's obviously didn't bring us here for some school thing, isn't it? Be honest. Well, aren't you a smart cookie meow? You're absolutely right. This isn't a school thing. From now on, you guys are going to take part in a very special game. Really? Game? I love games. What kind of game? What kind of game? If you guys would let me finish, meow, maybe I'd explain. Are you done talking over me now? now All right, you bastards. Here's the deal. In this game, you're going to live out your school lives here, meow. Oh. Good night, mates. Okay, so it's totally normal, except for the cat and the other cat and the not knowing how he got here. Oh, right, how you got here? Well, that's a surprise, meow. I thought it would be more fun if I removed those tiny details. <laughs> that's weird, but we can go home later. Mm, let me see. Uh, nope. That's me, what do you mean, nope? Yep. I figured. You guys are going to stay here forever. Wait. What did you just say? This is getting interesting now. I still can't remember what voice I gave you. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just give you a random voice. You can be Scouse. There it is. This is getting interesting now. There, you're asleep. If you ungrateful bastards could quiet down, then maybe I'll tell you. I had a whole monologue prepared for you lot, but now I'm not even, even going to waste my breath. You would have loved it too, meow. I made a slideshow and everything. There were spreadsheets. But you insufferable children kept whining and interrupting. So now you get the boring, watered-down version. Oh god, getting gas coming up my throat from my tea. So basically, you are staying in the school indefinitely. There, I said it. Wait. Oh, okay, you're just going to keep us here? Meow, that's not how school works. Well, the 16 of you were gathered here for the Hope Restoration Program, meow. Hope Restoration Program? Yeah, it's a fun little thing where you each develop your talents and cultivate friendships lasting a lifetime in order to do restore hope or whatever, meow. All within a special facility catering to each of your absurd niches. Built with the utmost secrecy and safety in mind. But I got in here just in time to spice things up, meow. You can thank me later. Hey! Just who do you think you are to do such a thing? I'm Mono Meow, right? I think that's who I think I am to do such a thing. I think. There's no way you can keep us trapped here forever. That's impossible. You can see the beach from outside. We're obviously not stranded. Oh, oh wrong voice. I knew it went Scottish. Arr, me hearties. I can navigate any waters like the back of my hand. I'll get us out of here in no time. Fetch me compass and chart charts. There's a forest too. We can hike out of here. There's no fence. Like a real adventure. Right, well, you're welcome to try. But you'll find a few surprises out there, meow. Like, I don't know, landmines. Landmines? Just what are you planning on doing? Listen here. I told you what I plan on doing, meow. Keeping you here forever. Though forever is a strong word, I say hope at least one of you will die before forever happens. I wouldn't want to wait that long, meow. Nobody's going to let you get away with this. You don't have to yell at me. There is one way to leave. Here we go. The usual. Really? How? All you gotta do is kill someone. Of course. I don't think anyone knew how to respond to that. Kill? Like in a game? Kill someone in a game? I don't know. I think he's I think he's talking about real murder. Of course I'm talking about real murder, meow. A single sentence managed to silence the entire gym. If you need to get out of here that badly, you just gotta win the game. It's easy. Just kill one of your fellow classmates and get away with it. You might like it's that easy, but how are we even supposed to kill each other? It's not like you're giving us weapons or anything. I feel like that should be really be the hero's voice, not this guy. Yeah, I'll have to work on your voice a bit. Well, actually, I, I, mean, I probably won't have to, because this is I think this is just the prologue, as far as I'm aware. I'm so happy you asked! Oh. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, poisoning, drowning, electrocution, igniting... See if I care! The possibilities are endless! 
This is very much like Trigger Happy Havoc. The method is irrelevant. All that matters to me is that somebody bleeds. What kind of monster would I be to put limits on your creativity? Look, Rico, I got a duty my reputation over something so trivial. Seriously, who in their right mind would kill someone over this? Meow, I don't want to kill anyone. I never said you had to. You're welcome to wait around and be killed by someone else, meow. Like I'd let anything like that happen. This sick joke has gone on long enough. Arr, this is stupid. Like a group of ultimates will give in to you. Nobody's gonna play your dumb game. We're going to find a way out of here. Even if it kills us. That's the point, meow. Uh... Can someone please just beat up this deranged Muppet already? You can leave it to me. With pleasure, you can leave it to me. Well, let me help. G'day, mates, this is pissing me off. I'm not taking any orders from this sad excuse for a mascot. Hey, you can't beat up your headmaster. Don't you delinquents know there are rules in your pre in prestigious schools like this? I said we have to kill someone at least. So I guess these two are going to kill you. Probably up, by the way. I'm getting impatient here. Mm, nope. Is someone going to die? Oh, so amusing to you. You think it's that easy, meow? You idiots have to kill a classmate, not me. Let me just clarify that any violence against the headmaster will result in... Uh, what? Scouse, 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 Scouse Red. Quick, Scouse, Scouse accent, quickly. Result in... Execution. Of course. Standard. Meow, execution. Execution. Execution, meow. I told you we have rules. This is a prestigious program, after all. How can you restore hope if you're acting like a bunch of wild animals? In a high-stakes game like this, the punishments happen to be permanent. Same reason we have the class trials. Class trials? Yup, class trials. See? When one of you finally off someone, you all get to participate in the class trial. Nice graphic, incidentally. Because that's the thing in mainline Dragon Rumble games. They always just use the sort of same graphic with the boys on one side and the girls on the other. They just sort of change the colours every so often. But this one's gone for something unique the of its own. The killer will then face off against their spotless classmate. You argue over who the blackened is, and then it's voting time! You all vote for who you're convinced is the culprit. Did something sort of flash them? The graphics sort of flicker? I don't know. It feels like maybe it did. Maybe it was just me. If you all no, it definitely is. Then only the blackened killer will receive punishment. Then the rest of you guys get out of the ordeal scot-free and head back to class. If you choose incorrectly, the blackened gets to head on out, and the rest of you are offed! No, I think it's definitely flickering a bit between transitions for pictures. Yeah, see? I think you just saw it then. It doesn't get much more simple than that! Huh? That's terrible. That's the justice system for you! Meow! It's not that hard. You just have to commit the perfect crime and survive the trial! That's still terrible. Well, them's the rules. I'm gonna let you kids off the leash now. You're now free to get started on your killing spree. I'm just gonna sneak on out of here now. Have fun on your totally trigger-happy reign of terror. Meow. Meow yeah, fun. That isn't fun at all. Well, it's definitely interesting. None of us will participate in your twisted game. I'll make sure of that. Okay, I don't group us all in like that. When you break the rules, I don't want to get in trouble for it. What are you saying? You want to kill someone? No. Okay, I'm saying your defiance will get us all killed. Okay, already we got uh, those members of the group who uh, <laughs> are perhaps uh, potential troublemakers. Well, this guy not necessarily a troublemaker, but potential disruptive forces, I should say. Like him and the hacker. Stop that! Meow, yeah, you're scaring me. Wait! Wait a second, you can't just leave us here after telling us all of that. You've barely even explained it. Relax. It's all explained in your student handbooks. Besides, I'm just some dumb cat puppet, right? Why would you ask me, meow? And off he goes. The sadistic creature slipped out of the room as we were arguing. Everyone, remain calm. Would anyone like to explain what we've just experienced? What? Oh no, say me, I don't understand any of this. Live here forever or kill? I've never heard of any games like this. What's going on? You know... Please try to calm down, love. I'm sure things aren't as hopeless as they seem right now. Unfortunately, I think we all understand completely. It seems we've been presented with two choices. Good night, mates. Yeah, we could live here forever. Well, we could kill someone to ensure our own safety. That's what I could glean from that filthy creature's tirade. Meow, wait, killing someone, that's... That's something I won't allow to happen. That's what it is. Oh, boy. Something tells me <laughs> you're going to die. You're probably going to die. The hero's probably going to die. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, God. Whether he's a victim or a uh, perpetrator, who knows? Maybe he'll be the sort who ends up killing someone to defend someone else.
I could see that happening. We were abducted and taken to some unheard of school for seemingly no reason. Why should we trust anything that thing tries to tell us? Mm -hmm. yeah, this is late. This is a lame ass prank if I've ever seen one. Oh, right. Can I make this totally fake? This is just like a hating ritual sort of thing, isn't it? Hmm. You see, we all say that, but. Arr, but what, you swab? Have you looked at these little e handbooks? This type of tech isn't cheap, I'll tell you that. I'm calling it now, this is the real deal. Arr, wait a second, I thought we were agreeing that this is a joke. Still not sure what voice to give you. Um, but okay. Hmm. Maybe something really stupid. Who knows? You know, I don't think it matters if it's real or fake. What's more important is, are any of you actually considering this? Okay, you know what? That voice will do. To that, I, I had no response. As I looked around, I realised that not one of us did. They all stared at one another, glaring daggers. Founded on nothing but empty threats, fear had built up inside each and every one of us already. And somehow, this fear was nothing compared to what... I should say, what lay ahead, what not lied ahead. Is that the end of the prologue? Oh! Well, hot damn! Complete. Oh, that's loud, that is. Obtained present. Well, like a school crest. Oh, save to which file? Well, file 10, I guess. Is that everything, then? Is anything else going to happen, or is it just black screen? Hello? Hello? Um... Is this thing working? What's going on here? <laughs> uh, it's just black screened. Um, is it supposed to have gone to something? Shit, I pressed enter again, didn't I? Was I supposed to press escape? Okay, hold on a moment, everyone. Alright, uh, brought us back to the uh, main menu. Basically, I, th I think that's it. It just black screened and nothing else seemed to happen. So, yeah, Dev, if you're watching, uh, <laughs> might want to patch that. I don't know. So it actually just brings them back to the, brings, brings the player back to the main menu or something. Well, there you go. So I guess that was that. That was the prologue. Danganronpa Hope Restoration. And based on kind of how long that's been, I don't know. I may split that into more than one episode. And uh, instead of putting it in the other Danganronpa content playlist, I may just put it in a playlist of its own. We'll see. So that was good as a little demo of that one. I kind of enjoyed that one, actually. It's been interesting to um, see these fan games. Like, you had Dead End, which was very sort of faithful almost to how a Danganronpa game looks. Then you had, obviously, Gods at Gunpoint, which was made in Renpy, so it was more of like a straightforward visual novel. And now you have this one made in RPG Maker. You know, I feel like RPG Maker as an engine could lend itself quite well to Danganronpa fan games, things like that. So that was that was great to look at. I feel like, you know, this one had some... I don't know, some of the characters stood out to me a bit more in this one than I think Gods at Gunpoint did. Not that I'm, you know... I, 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 I wasn't really intending to kind of do comparisons between them, but, you know, I think this one was quite standout uh, for its characters. So, you know, of the three fan games that I played here, I'd say this one and Dead End probably um, are up there as my favourites. Got to Gunpoint was alright, but I think it needs a bit of extra work going into it. So yeah, um, there you go. Well, who knows? Uh, apparently there is a chapter one of this uh, in development, Hope Restoration. So I'll have to keep my eyes peeled, see if that comes out. And if it does, we'll play it, ladies and gents, because why the hell not? I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see where it goes. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed that too. In the meantime, um, I'll wrap up here. So, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the links to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to give a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you for another video sometime soon. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, we're playing as Genocide, yes. Now, there's so many controls with uh, Genocide that I can't actually remember. Like, activating my like, fever and things like this. Into the next carriage. Get up. Get him, even. Take it, friggin' police monokumas. Get down. Oh, it's one behind me. There's a lot of them behind me. Oh, Lord. Can I activate... How do I activate the feed thing? I can't actually remember. Oh, no, not yet, apparently. So... Oh god, I was about to say something, but nope, we're getting straight back into the combat. Oh, it's Paul, Monokuma. 